We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. That is the judgment of our Nuclear Regulatory Commission and many other experts. Furthermore, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and public health experts do not recommend that people in the United States take precautionary measures beyond staying informed. And going forward, we will continue to keep the American people fully updated because I believe that you must know what I know as president. Blatant lies. Blatant lies. Blatant lies that are killing people. Shortly after Fukushima blew up, I started a petition such as this to demand that our elected officials inform us and monitor the air, food, water, and soil. I was disgusted after a little over three months that only 350 people found it important enough to sign the petition. It asked for a million signatures like this one does. It reached more than a million people through my social network. It had to have. 350 people cared. That was about a year ago. And earlier today, I saw this video that Believers Underground put out. My condolences, Scott. This grandbaby. Dead. Now, can I prove that that's from Fukushima? No, but I'll link you to the video. You can decide for yourself. But you did hear in the audio that Obama promised to keep us informed. He has not. The lies that he told that day are now killing people. We are inundated with radioactive fallout daily. And I hope this is a little more important to you now. Many advocates have been busting their asses tirelessly. Rad Chick, uh, give them a shout out. Miss Milky the Clown. Others, many others, I'm sure I forgot many. I'm trying to wake people up. It's a year later and people are dying. Will you get off your ass, sign the petition now, and demand that Obama inf inform us? The advocates, myself included, can only reach so many individuals that are awake. But we know that it, there are millions and millions of sheep who believe everything Obama says. Those sheep deserve protection as well. Their, their ignorance cannot be a justification for their death from the silent killer, more importantly, their children's death. He has a responsibility as the leader to call all media to cover this with provable facts. Those facts are going to be scary, but there are ways to protect yourself. There will be a link below to this petition. For any of you that are seeing this information for the first time or don't know, you can also go to my website. It's going to require diet change, habit change, but you can live through this. You can protect yourself, but if you're not informed, you will die. And for those millions of sheep that believed everything Obama said and now having babies die in the womb. Get off your asses, sign this petition, share it with everybody you know. Much love and thanks to all the advocates who have been working tirelessly. Good Lord.